checking the stats every minute this week. I'm doing my part, I'm paying attention, and I play my position. It's the Crypto Lights here, we're back with another video, guys. We're going to talk about Neta, N E T A, negative tax token now when i first came onto the website i actually thought this was a metaverse play because of the way it's laid out however there's a little bit more to it than that in fact it doesn't seem to be a meta metaverse play at all but the way it's designed you'd just assume that straight away right so a uh, negative tax token right so it's basically got these tokenomics it's a one percent tax on every buy which gets converted into busd rewards for holders okay however on that exact same transaction, investors will get an additional 1.5% extra tokens, which means not only do investors instantly get 0.5% extra tokens, but they also receive 1% in rewards of BUSD. Okay, guys, which is why it's called negative tax tokens. So let's just grasp that for a second, right? You pay 1% tax on your transaction. When you come to the chart, which looks pretty bullish at the moment, in my opinion, um, it did have a, a pre-sale, a fair launch pre-sale. It raised over a thousand BNB, which I missed. I didn't hear about this token until not very long ago. So I would have liked to have gotten in on the pre-sale on this. However, you can't have it all in crypto. All right, guys. But uh, the chart is looking in a much better place right now if you if you didn't get in on the pre-sale because it's actually, um, well, it's not lower than the pre-sale price, right? But it did come lower than the pre it, it came a little bit lower than the pre-sale price. Of course, people were up in a little bit of profit. They took profits. It's come down, put in a double bottom. And now it's starting to move to the upside again. And we're seeing huge buys coming right now. Like this huge buy that just came in not long ago for $13,000. Somebody knows something. I know there's a marketing campaign ramping up for this particular token at the moment. Okay, so that is looking pretty bullish. Um, there are 6,227 members in Telegram. And um, yeah, so basically, um, going back to the tokenomics, right? When you buy, you get a 1% tax. On the chart, it says 0% over here. And that is because, obviously, once you put the buy in, yes, 1% comes off tax, but then automatically you get a 0.5%, sorry, you get 1.5% extra tokens, okay? So, um, really, you don't end up with 1.5% extra tokens because of the 1% tax. So, you end up with 0.5% extra tokens. But the 1% in rewards is paid out in reflections uh, in BUSD. So, the longer that you hold, you're likely to get that 1% tax back what you spent. So, you'll be up 1.5%. Along with price appreciation, if you're getting at a good price, I think that this has got lots of room for movement sitting at 1.1 million market cap with 185k liquidity this looks like on the surface looks like to be a serious project you know they've not just dumped like a thousand ten thousand dollars in liquidity in here it's actually got a decent amount of liquidity and it's a 1.1 million market cap there's a lot of people that probably won't invest in projects until it goes past a million market cap some people don't like to invest in them at 100k 200k and things like that so this to me, the chart looks pretty decent, sitting at 11 cents at the time of recording this video. So, uh, yeah, going back to the website. Okay, so uh, we know that it's basically uh, a negative tax token. It claims to be the first negative tax token. I can't verify whether that is true or not, but um, it does seem like pretty unique tokenomics. Okay, um, you might be worried about inflation for example where do those tokens come from i haven't delved into the white paper fully okay it's a dgen play i tend not to kind of browse through uh, white papers too much right but of course you're going to do your own research you're going to read through all the information okay guys because at the end of the day you're responsible for your own investments all right guys you can see it's a 10 million total supply and um, I'm not sure if there's any inflation because, like I said, I haven't read through it. So, uh, you know, feel free to do that. Okay, they're going to have staking. Okay, guys, uh, which doesn't seem to be live yet. Uh, but you can see all the fees is 15% early withdrawal fee and so on. It's a 2% deposit fee and so on. So, of course, um, if it is, uh, if, if it's staking, right, it's a 10 million supply. Either it's got that supply set aside already or there's some inflation involved. But um, yeah, do your own research, read all about it. Uh, the white paper will be on the website and so on. 
But uh, I think it looks like a pretty decent project from where I'm standing. If we go back to the website, the team is not fully doxxed. As you can see, um, these are the team members here. Looks like five members of the team uh, right now. Okay. But um, yeah, I mean, they're going to have a swap exchange. Um, Neta swap or Nita, however you pronounce it. I'd say Neta. Uh, their own blockchain, you know, if that's. You know, um, if they're true to their word and, you know, they're, they're going to be developing their own blockchain. We've already talked about staking. And uh, you can see on the roadmap here, it wants to get on CoinMarketCap, CoinGecko. Obviously, that's the first marketing boost we expect to see, of course. And then we expect to see a promotion through video, TikTok, Twitter, or wherever they tend to uh, decide to market this thing. But yeah, on the surface, it looks pretty good. Um, it's got unique to tokenomics, so that is definitely a good thing. It's got the utility, um, or it will have the utility at least, if it's not there already. Okay, and um, yeah, I think this looks like a pretty decent project. Um, who knows, maybe there will be forks of this coming up, all right? This might do so well that, you know, people start to copy it. I don't know, but it is very early days. It's not been out for long, okay, guys? Um, launched just yesterday, okay? So, uh, you know, as you can see, and it was a fair launch, of course, so you would expect a bit of selling pressure um, at uh, to start with, right? But it looks like it's on the road to recovery. It looks like it's, and when I say road to recovery, it's not like it's had a massive sell-off, right? Um, the all-time high is about 19 cents. Right now, it's 11 cents, okay? So, it's about 50% down. Not even 50% down at the time of recording this video from the all-time high. So, um, lots of potential for this particular project. And I do know that there is a marketing campaign ramping up as we speak. So, I think that this could be a, you know, one to put a small bid on holding your portfolio and see whether it goes anywhere at the end of the day you'll have to decide whether it's a short mid-term or long-term project for you okay this would suggest that there was a high demand at least a thousand bnb with a 50 bnb soft cap that is pretty decent okay in a bear market so i think this is potentially bullish but at the end of the day we are in a bear market all right guys so things don't always perform and they don't always perform necessarily straight away. So whether you believe in a project or not, whether you think it's got the long-term potential, I'll leave that for you to decide. But that is the end of the video. Please do me a favor and subscribe to the channel. Tip the little bell for notifications. Like the video, which helps with the YouTube algorithm. Let me know what you think about this project in the comment section. And I'll see you guys in the very next video.